Hi guys, it's the Tech Gamer here. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to install Twerp TWRP on the Samsung Galaxy Core Prime SMG 360T1 from Metro BCS. Let's get started. Now to um, install Twerp, you will first need a couple files. You'll need the your ADB drivers. You'll also need Odin, and you need the um, the Twerp the image. Um, so let me show actually show you the files you need. So um, these are just uh, most of my files that I need that I use to root my phone, but um, root some of my phones. But you basically need this file, this file, this one, and this one. Now to get these files, what you have to do, uh, what you have to do is go to my site. Not uh, go to my um, Android file host site. And download your ADB drivers. Download the ADB drivers if it's in here. Nope, it's not in here actually. I'll have to upload the ADB drivers and leave a link in the description box down below. And I'll also leave a link in the description box down below for the unofficial twerp G3CC1TAR.md5. But yeah, what you want to do is download um, twerp from my, um, my Android file host site. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. Um, once you're done, you're downloading it. You'll find it in your downloads folder, or you can set it to download in your ADB fastboot files folder. Once you found that, once you did that, what you want to do is open a command window. Once you've opened the command window, what you want to do is type in ADB devices. Once you've done that, you'll hit enter. It says it'll start doing this. If it comes up with your serial number and it says device, then it proves that your ADB drivers are working. Once you've done all this, what you want to do is type in ADB reboot bootloader. Once you've done that, hit enter. You, the phone will now reboot into bootloader mode and to prove this Let me show you something My phone has rebooted into bootloader mode From here, let's go back to the computer and um, I, I, I If I you know what guys if I did have a better camera setup I, I wouldn't be using a phone to do this, but I'm sorry um, But yeah, once you've done that what you want to do is open up Odin. So for me, it's in my ADB um, fastboot files right here on my desktop. What you want to do is find Odin, open up Odin, actually hold on, let's cancel this. Let's find the Odin folder, not the zip. Here it is, Odin. Let's open up Odin. Exit out this. Okay. Once you've opened up Odin, what you want to do is hit AP. F um, go to your desktop. Um, file. Um, go to ADB Fastboot Files. Um, for me, it's in ADB Fastboot Files. Once you've gone to the folder or um, file where um, unofficial twerp g6t1.tar.md5 um, is found, what you want to do is click on the twerp, the twerp file, click open. Once you've done that, a little check mark will show up in the box. From here, what you want to do is go to options, um, uncheck auto reboot, go back to log, then click start. Once you've done that, a little bar, a little progress bar will start showing up, and then once it's done um, being filled up, um, from here, what you want to do is hold what you want to do is hold um power and volume up once your phone has shut off uh what you want to do is let the phone fully turn back on and then turn the phone back off again So 
So I'll be right back with you once it's done. Once um, this is all done. All right, guys. Now that you fully installed Twerp Recovery on your phone, what you want to do is get the SuperSue Beta 2.71 file and put it on your external SD card on your phone. To do this, since I've already downloaded SuperSue, what you want to do is just find the SuperSue file that you've downloaded. For me, it is right here. What you want to do is copy it to your external SD card on your phone. All right, when, oh, um, now, you're, now that you're copying it, what you want to do is just find the external SD card on your phone, um, on the computer, go to your downloads, um, just click on your downloads and click copy. Um, it's already on my phone. That's why this has come up. That's, that's why this has come up. So, um, um, so now that, since it's already on my phone, I'm going to click don't copy. But what you want to do is click, uh, is just copy the super suit files over to your, um, external SD card. Now that you, that, now that you have done this, what you want to do is fully power off your phone and boot your phone into recovery mode. Or, or in your case, boot your phone into twerk recovery. Um, um, I'll do. I'll show you this step once I get right back to you. So, guys, now that um, oh, it's a little blurry. Hold on, let me see if I can fix this. There we go. Um, now that Super Suit is now pushed over to your phone, what you want to do is fully turn off your phone. Wait until it's fully turned off. Then what you want to do is boot your phone into Twerp Recovery. Since this is the uh, and this is the first initial uh, startup for Twerp, so to do this, what you want to do is hold the power button. Oh, actually, let me turn turn on the light. Uh, I don't know if it's bright enough over here. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Now that you guys now know this is the first initial setup or a startup for twerp what you want to do is hold the power button which is right here the volume button which is uh, volume up button which is right here and then the home button which is not right here where is it uh, it's right here <laughs> so um let me hold these three buttons so we can start up um twerp recovery So the phone is now booting into recovery mode, as you can see in the top um, part of the phone. Twerp recovery is now booting up. Um, from here, what you want to do is go to what you want to do is make a backup of the phone. So um, just click backup, click system image. Uh, so weird, it won't click. There it is. Click system image and swipe across. Um. Once this process is fully done, I'm going to get right back to you. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, as you see, I've just finished making my Nandroid backup of my phone so that if anything happens to, um, to uh, my phone when I'm done while doing this process, I can restore my phone back to normal. Um, it's a little bit blurry. There we go. Okay. All we have to do is go go back and now. Oops. Oh Lord. Uh. Home. Uh, external SD card. There we go. Let's go home. There we go. Now that we're back home, on the home screen, what you want to do uh, to get proper root access on your phone is to click install from here it will um click storage it will uh, it might be on internal storage if it's on internal storage switch to external if you have an external sd card click ok go to uh, go to the part of your sd card external sd card where you have the super suit files on on your phone 
or on your SD card. So for me, the Super Sue files are in my download folder right here. From inside your download folder, click the Super Sue Beta version 2.71 zip. Click on that and swipe across to get proper root access on your phone. From from here, it'll it'll um it'll create a patch, a it'll create a backup, a C policy, it'll mount something. I don't know what it's mounting. It'll compress the RAM disk. It'll create a boot image and flash the boot image. Um, and it's important that you also read these impo um, this important notice. If Twerp image offers to install SuperSU, do not let it. Okay, first reboot may take a few minutes. It can also loop a few times. Do not interrupt the process. So from here, what you want to do is reboot the system, and then um, is like what the from here. It's like what the important notice says. Do not swipe across to install SuperSuit. Click Do not install. From there, your phone will now reboot. The first reboot, initial reboot, will loop back. It will shut off the phone, and then it will turn back on by itself. So here's the, this is the looping part where the phone shuts off and turns back on. From there, um, your phone will just do a complete initial setup or startup. Um. If your phone does turn on and you feel the phone vibrating a couple times, that means um, if you feel the phone vibrating a couple times and the phone is not going past the Metro PCS logo, then your phone is now stuck in a boot loop. And you'll have to um, load or install the, the stock firmware on your phone. You could do this by downloading the stock firmware off of sammobile.com and creating an account and using Odin to flash stock firmware or you could go into twerp recovery and flash the stock firmware that you have made from the backup uh let me put in my password and, I, and i'll be right back with you all right i'm back now to prove that i have proper root access on my phone what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into my app drawer i'm gonna go all the way down to root checker once it's fully opened up what you want to do is click verify root so a super suit prompt might come up if it doesn't come up what you want to do what you want to do is close a uh, root checker go to super Sue, the super Sue app let me just um apple alphabetize my app drawer uh, okay now what you want to do is go to your super Sue app it'll take a while to open up and comp compile all right this is how you know that you have root access also if the super suit opens up and it says follow me stay up to date with my develop developments follow me on twitter and google plus it says google plus no thanks and um twit yeah whatever um if, if it says this then you have proper root access just click um just click no thanks uh and then go to your settings Go down, go down, go down. Enable Super Sue during. Oh, never mind. Uh, okay, here's the prompt I was talking about um, for Root Checker Pro. Just click Grant. Root Checker Pro has been granted Super Sue access. Yes, okay. Um, from here, what you want to do is just keep going, going down. For uh, personalization, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the logo to this one. I'm going to change the theme to hmm, 
Material dark. So as you see, as this is dark right here. Um, let me see if I can make the whole of it, the or the whole thing dark. Material, um, oh my god, never mind, I guess I can't do it. Material, light, dark action bar, material, dark, oh, here it is, material, dark, there it is. So, from here, what you want to do is go to your, go all the way down, enable multi multiple user, nope, um, there's something I'm looking for. Here, what you want to do is click trust system user. And then you're good to go. Just exit out of Super Sue. Okay, so I guess Super Sue is frozen. Because I'm clicking my home button. It's not going back to the home screen. Okay. Something's wrong with Super Sue. I think my phone froze. Yep, my phone froze. Okay. Um, never mind. It's, I guess it's unfrozen now. But if your phone does froze, freeze and you can't seem to get it back the way you want to, um, just take up the battery and put it back in. Richard guys, I'm granted super super mission for an, an interactive show. Okay. Um, if your phone stays like this, would you want to just shut off your phone and turn it back on? So I'm going to let this process go through and I'll be right back with you. Alright, I'm back. Um, now that my phone is back to normal, what you, what you want to do from here is go to Root Checker. Open up Root Checker. Click Verify Root. From here, a prompt might show up from SuperSue. Asking if you want to um, give root checker proper root access, um, click grant. And as you see here, root checker now says, Congratulations, this device has um, root access. Um, it can, root checker pro can also verify busybox. So let's actually verify busybox. Busy, busybox binary has not been found in this system. Define environmental path. Now, the reason because of this is because I have not installed BusyBox on my phone. That'll be it for today, guys. Please like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.